Here is a story with dialogue about a waitress with unacceptable behavior at a cafe. It was a busy morning at the neighborhood cafe. The smell of freshly brewed coffee and warm pastries filled the air. A new waitress, eager to prove herself, rushed from table to table, taking orders and delivering plates. At one table, a customer waved her down. Excuse me, miss, I asked for my eggs over easy, but these are completely overcooked. The waitress frowned. Well, I'm sorry you don't like them, but I brought you what you ordered. The customer shook his head. No, these are not over easy at all. Could I please get a new order? She snatched the plate from the table, anger rising. You know what? If you don't like how we cook here, maybe you should just leave. She. I beg your pardon? Is that any way to speak to a customer? Waitress. I'm so sick of dealing with nitpicky people like you. The kitchen is slammed this morning. Before the shocked customer could respond, the waitress stormed off toward the kitchen, shouting for the cook. At another table, an elderly woman timidly raised her hand. Um, pardon me, dear. I ordered a glass of orange juice, but I think this might be grapefruit. The waitress spun around, her face flushed. Are you serious, lady? It's all the same. Just drink your juice. She grabbed the glass and flung it aside, sending pulpy liquid splattering across the floor and a neighboring table. Ceramic shards scattered everywhere as the glass shattered. A hush fell over the cafe as all eyes turned toward the commotion. The waitress stood fuming, seemingly unaware of the shocked patrons around her. Customer, that's an outrage. I want to speak to the manager immediately. Waitress, the manager? Ha, good luck with that. He's never here. She grabbed a plate of pancakes from the service counter and frisbeed it toward the complaining customer, syrup and pancakes splattering everywhere. Customer, you can't treat people like this. I'm leaving and I'm not paying for any of this. The customer stormed out, joining a small exodus of patrons who had had enough of the waitress's erratic behavior. Waitress, yeah, that's right, you cheapskates. Get out, see if I care. She grabbed another plate and smashed it on the floor, then swept her arm across the counter sending cups, silverware, and anything else crashing down. For a full week, this pattern continued. Customers would come in, be treated abysmally by the unhinged waitress, and then leave in a huff without paying. She. This is the last straw. I'm calling the owner right now. Waitress. Like, that'll do any good. That guy doesn't care about this dump. She kicked over a trash can, sending napkins and crumpled receipts flying. The few remaining customers tucked their heads down, trying to avoid her wrath. Another day passed like this, and then another. The cafe was practically deserted, with no income coming in. Complaints began pouring into the cafe owner from customers who had witnessed or fallen victim to the waitress's atrocious behavior. He knew he had to take action before his business was ruined completely. The owner stormed into the near-empty cafe, face red with anger. He spotted the waitress idly chatting on her phone behind the counter. Owner. You, get over here right now. Waitress. Oh, hey, boss, what's up? She acted nonchalantly. Owner. What's up? I'll tell you what's up. I've had dozens of people saying you've been abusive, rude, and destroying property. Explain yourself. Waitress. Those people just couldn't take a joke. It was all in good fun. She laughed it off, but the owner was having none of it. Owner. Good fun? You've driven all my customers away. Take a look around. This place is deserted thanks to you. He motioned around the empty cafe, then jabbed a finger at her. Owner. You're going to pay for all of this, you hear me? I want compensation for every cent I've lost because of your ridiculous behavior. Waitress, rolling her eyes. Yeah, right. Like that's gonna happen. I don't have any money, genius. The owner glared at her, furious at her flippant attitude. He needed to assert his authority. Owner. Oh, you'll pay one way or another. Since you can't seem to shape up, maybe you should just shave that head of yours. Right now. Waitress. Excuse me, you can't be serious. She instinctively ran a hand through her long brown hair, suddenly protective of it. Owner. Dead serious. Consider it a punishment for how you've treated my business and customers. Either shave it all off willingly or I'll have someone do it for you. Waitress. This is insane. You can't make me do that. She began backing towards the exit, keeping a wary eye on the irate owner. He meant business. Owner, slamming his hand on the counter. I'm the one calling the shots here. You want to walk away from this scot-free after all you've done? 
Shave that head now as a start to making amends. The few remaining customers watched in shock and awkward silence, not believing what they were witnessing. The waitress opened her mouth to protest further. The waitress opened her mouth to protest further, but the owner had clearly reached his limit. He quickly ducked behind the counter and emerged holding an electric razor clipper. Owner, no more arguing. You had your chance, now this is happening. Waitress, wait, you can't be serious. Don't you dare come near me with that thing. She began backing away in earnest, panic rising in her voice, but the owner advanced, a crazed look in his eyes. Owner, maybe this will finally teach you some respect. Hold still. With surprising speed, he lunged and grabbed a fistful of the waitress's hair, yanking her head back. She let out a yelp of pain and fear. Waitress, stop. Please, I'm sorry, I'll do anything. Don't shave me. But her pleas fell on deaf ears. The owner yanked her head forward and jammed the buzzing clipper against her scalp. Clumps of hair immediately began falling away. Waitress, no, oh God, no, you're actually doing it. She broke down in sobs tears streaming down her reddened face as the owner mercilessly shaved her head bald. The few remaining customers averted their eyes, utterly stunned. When it was done, the owner released his grip and she collapsed to the floor, cradling her shorn head and wailing uncontrollably. He stood over her, still clutching the clipper. Owner, maybe now you'll think twice before destroying another business with your horrible attitude. The waitress looked up at him through tear-stained eyes her face a mask of shock and humiliation. She opened her mouth to respond, but the owner cut her off sternly. Owner, don't even think about arguing or making excuses. This is the consequence you brought on yourself. Consider this a lesson in respecting others and taking responsibility for your actions. Waitress, sobbing. I, I'm so sorry. You're right, I was completely out of line. Please just let me go. Owner, go? After all this, absolutely not. You're going to stay right here and clean up every last bit of the mess you made. He gestured around the destroyed cafe. Overturned chairs, shattered plates, sticky food splatters everywhere. Owner, you're going to scrub and mop every inch until it's spotless. And you're not leaving until you've paid for all the damages and lost business too. Waitress, but, but I don't have any money. How can I possibly pay for all that? The owner's expression hardened. Owner, then I guess you'll be my cleaner for a very long time until you've worked it all off. Get started. Now. He shoved a mop and bucket at her unceremoniously. The utterly defeated waitress could only nod meekly and begin cleaning through her tears. For hours she scrubbed every surface, mopping up spills, writing overturned furniture, all while her newly shorn head caught her eye and reminded her of this horrific consequence.